Hey guys, Tyler and Anthony for Carbon Lead Outdoors here. I'm gonna try to give y'all a basic, basic to intermediate calling video here. Um, we're rocking the uh, Ridge Rocker Turkey Calls. Ridge Rocker Turkey Calls. Shout out to them. Let's get into it here. Um, That's a double glass. We have the double glass call, and then for some beginners, as myself, and not, you know, pretty much anybody call, this little push and pull box call, real simple to use. And then for people who can call a lot better than my myself, Anthony, can use the double slate, slate calls, aluminums. You get a better pitch out of them than you would this little push and pull call. So give you a little segment um, with some purrs, clucks, yelp sound like out of the box call and the double slate. All right, we're gonna try a yelp here. Um, this is gonna be a short series yelp. It's generally a locator call. Um, that's what I've always used it for. <laughs> then you go into a, uh, a long series of a yelp. That's generally what you use to uh, kind of regroup a flock that's been busted up. It's generally 10 to 15 yelps. This last one I use more than anything. Uh, it's, I call it a cutting. Everybody might have their own name for it. It's generally a more exciting call. Um, it's, it's what I get m most of my birds fired up with. Um, I've had more luck calling birds in and keeping them in with this call here. It's generally a series of clucks followed by a yelp. All right, guys, that is just some of the regular calling sequences that we use in the woods while we're hunting. And also for like a beginner call, you got this Ridge Rocker little push and pull box call, which I said in the beginning. And I mean, you can do some various calls with it. And to be honest with you, this call right here has killed more time turkeys than any call ever made. And it's simple to use. You can either push it or you can pull it. And that's just a simple yelp, simple locator. And you can put it like, well, I don't have my shotgun right now, I'll show you, but you can actually put it on the end of your shotgun right here. That way when you're in ready shooting frame, all you have to do is just to get that bird to lift his head up out of the, you know, when he's in strut, so you can get that good clean kill shot on him, so. Now I understand calling is only about 10 to 20% of the actual turkey hunting. You've got to know when to call, what calls to use, you, you've yeah. got to you've got to do what the birds like read the bird more than anything that's it you know you might have a farm in one location and they like something totally different than next yep that's true. one day they might like something the next day they might not hunting pressure that's that that's a big factor in that as well there's a lot of various things that go into that weather so understand calling helps but you've got various things that you have to include you've got almost be a master woodsman <laughs> to master a turkey yeah, yeah definitely and then you still might not get the kill yeah because see like they might like 
you know, you got a double glass call, you got your slate call, you got your aluminum call, you got your single glass, you got your box call, you got, got this diaphragm little calls. diaphragm, the little push and pulls. <laughs> Those and are a little more advanced. It, they are. So. Diaphragm, this guy can't use. I just go ahead and tell you that. It's not for me. So I stick to my slates, my double glasses, aluminums, the little box calls, a regular box call. But you can throw any call at a bird. For example, as they say, is a bird that I shot a few years back. We tried box calls, we tried glass calls, we tried aluminum calls, we tried everything we had in our packs. Couldn't get nothing to respond. And I made a simple cluck with my mouth, no call, no nothing. Sounded like complete garbage, but it worked. He liked it. Come in 50 yards, laid the bird down on the ground, and that was the end of the turkey hunting day. And like we hunted for four hours and throwing everything at them. But the conditions was, and then birds had been called to by other calls and sometimes it's just something new and i'll go ahead and tell you right now you do not have to be a great turkey caller to call in a bird because a turkey is the worst mimicker of itself ever so i mean if you're an average joe turkey caller don't be scared to call but also don't call too much because that is one thing over that calling can, yes kill a hunt. yes they generally when you over call it, it shuts the bird up yep and you know other people might have a different say in that but me when I've been out in the woods when I first started I overcalled and that ruined the hunt for the entire day they would not talk I would not hear any hens wouldn't hear gobbler wouldn't hear anything so understand that turkey is a turkey is a, diff, a different kind of beast yeah I mean so. definitely a hard animal to hunt honestly deer hunting is my I would say bread and butter and turkey hunting has become a great love of mine and I'm gonna tell you right now, it is challenging. It is challenging. All right, guys, make sure to go check out our social media page. Uh, we've got a Facebook, got an Instagram. Uh, it's Carbon Lead Outdoors. Uh, YouTube, check us out on YouTube. Check make sure you, you follow us, like it, and hit the subscribe button anytime you watch our videos. Um, we should have a new video coming up here pretty quick, maybe at the end of this week. If not, we'll definitely have one for y'all next week. Also, make sure you check out Ridge Rocker Turkey Calls. Follow them on Instagram as well. Check them out. They're located here in Taylorsville, Kentucky. You can actually go down, look at their storage stuff, see how the calls is made and everything. And dude, they're just, they're a great operation. They make great calls and we support local people as much as we great can. Guys.